So I understand that you're employed at McGuckin's and have a position as loss prevention. Could I ask you a few questions regarding your insight about what occurs at your workspace? Go for it. Okay, so how many people do you have working loss prevention at any given time? We tend to have two people on the floor at any given time. We have more in the department, but we have a rule at minimum two to deal with any kind of situation that arises. Okay. Um, what is your role as loss prevention? My role is as clearly defined by the title, loss prevention. I prevent theft. I prevent all of those kinds of things. Um, my job extends beyond that in terms of anything that is not clearly defined by someone else's job. That means medical emergencies. That means someone starts a fight in the center of the store, in the store or around it. Stuff like that is my job to go and deal with that on top of theft and things like of, things of that sort. That's why at our disposal, we have many things. We have access to store records, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes personal info, depending on how much the customers have given in the past. And we have access to a very solid camera system through the whole building so that I can accomplish my job. Okay. Um, do you have any consumers that feel that what you are doing is morally wrong as your job? Yeah. There are a lot of people that actually think that we're doing the wrong thing with our job. And I'm going to disagree with them overall. Here's an example. A couple months ago, we had a individual, a adult male, that was, yeah, adult male, uncooperative. This man who got busted on one of our sides for stealing probably about 40 to 60 bucks worth of merchandise. On our way in to take him back to the office where we would meet up with a police officer who would issue the ticket and we'd issue the civil penalty, um, he decided that no, he didn't want to go. So he started to resist. We're not small guys for a reason. We carry cuffs for a reason. We detain the man and using, we had to use a bit of force and we detained the man. We got him back to the office and all of that stuff, <clears throat> which is within our rights. Our right to protect our merchandise trumps most people's rights to walk free. And we had a lot of people watch the whole endeavor go down. We had a fair number. And one, one of them was a woman who decided I'm going to write a report. I'm going to write a review of this whole thing and just tell the store that I watched the whole incident go down and I don't think your loss prevention department did it right. That even though this man had stolen, this man had tried to get away and all these kinds of things, we shouldn't have had the right to do any of that. She did not like how we did our jobs. She did not like what we were doing with our jobs. The fact that stealing was considered so serious of an issue. Okay. Um, <sighs> what, what do bystanders usually do when they witness someone else stealing an item? Most bystanders don't really do anything. They really don't. Um, and out of those few people that do, they don't necessarily know what to do. That's fair. Like, we accept the fact that sometimes you don't know what to do, and chances are we've already got an eye on the person that's trying to do the stealing. Um, but honestly, we like it when someone tries to help. We really like it when someone at least tries to go out of the way to do a little bit of something, but very few people do. It's kind of part of the era. It's kind of part of this whole era of uh, corporate businesses. You look at, you watch someone stealing from, say, like a Home Depot and all that kind of stuff. And you're immediately going to think, oh, it's not so bad. This company has tons of money. It's not going to be an issue if, they, if a little bit disappears. And I would I would kind of agree with them a little bit, except for the fact that McGuckins is it's a private business. The old man that started this store is still over in aisle 12 telling you how a mop works. The man is freaking lovable. And if it weren't for that, I don't really think anyone would say anything if someone was stealing. Okay. Um, do consumers ever report to you as security that they've seen someone else stealing? Never to us. Because one part of doing this is that we don't wear vests. We don't wear anything which signifies that we're part of McGuckins. You don't know who we are until we're outside stopping you, showing you who we are. You just don't know. And neither do these people. They always go up to someone wearing a vest. They always go up to someone who's clearly designated as an employee or a sales associate. And there's nothing that can really be done. But at least you tried. And we can respect that at least a little bit. And if 
the person escapes, if the person does get away, oftentimes we'll record license plate numbers and all those kinds of things. So we can file a report with the police and they can just take it from there. And occasionally we have had customers that come in and have some very solid info about these things. We have people all the time doing hit and runs out in our, out in our lot. And when a customer comes in with a license plate number for someone that did a hit and run, we love it. Now that, and that does happen a fair amount. Okay. Um, I think that concludes the questions I have for this interview. Anything else you'd like to include? Not particularly. Um, as for the report that the woman had said earlier, um, that I was talking about earlier that the woman had written, we have it hanging in our office. We understand that people don't like what we do, but it's kind of our job. Theft is a bit of a bigger crime, in a sense. It you are making the moral choice. You are making the choice against your own morality when you decide to hurt someone else that way. Thank you. I think that that concludes everything I have. Um, yeah.